everybody. I'm Carol with Free Spirit Arts. Welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are great. Today is Memorial Weekend. Or, today is not the whole weekend. Today is Monday. Memor Memorial Day. So in America, today is the day that we appreciate and show our respect and affection for all the men and women who have served in all of our military forces and died in combat, protecting the freedoms that America enjoys. What's wrong with my beloved digital lighter? It won't do what it's designed to do. Or I've pinched the light off. Oh, let's take a breath. Oh, sorry, Tammy. I'm watching Tammy Van Antwerp. She is doing uh, Self-Care Sunday number 20, which um, is what I'm going to do. <sighs> I just light a candle to help me. Well, I like candles for a lot of reasons. I like candles a lot. I like candles to re-energize a room, to set a different energy, to remember somebody. Um to help the room smell better. In my art room, I tend to light it to help me make that shift from what's going on outside my door to what I'm about to do now so my head's not all cluttered. So, there you go. Don't go out, candle. Don't go out. Okay, so we're gonna set that right here. Okay. As many of you know, I went to the cabin, and Tammy Van Antwerp is doing a self-care Sunday series, and for the month of, oh, I'm going to save that, those crumbs, um, for the month of May, she's focusing on nature, all different kinds of prompts dealing with nature. Well, while we were at the cabin, it rained and rained and rained, and I didn't do a lot of crafting. I still am recovering from shingles. I still have some shingles that refuse to die. Cheers. Mm. Hazel, not my very favorite. And uh, it rained and rained, and we did come home early because of that, but it was still a beautiful get away and I always love coming home um, and I was able to go for a walk yesterday just before we left and grab some things that I want to try to press in my book and I should have taken him out of this bag last night and I didn't so we'll see if they'll what they look like when they're pressed. They may look very sad, and if they do, I'll use them for something else, smudging or something. Let's see, let's put, let's put this inside. Maybe we should put these bits in there too. I, while I was on my walk, I picked up this little pine cone. It's about that big. And it has these yellow, curly, vine-type things coming out of it. I don't know if that is like a tree trying to grow. Or some type of fungi. I don't know. Anybody know anything about... What is that called? The study of plants. Botanical? No. Botany? So my husband agreed to try to plant it. He looked at me like I'm crazy. I said, plant it, let's see what grows. He said, I think that's just like a fungus. I'm like, well, let's grow it. <laughs> I'll bet it's moss. I'll bet that's what it is. Because it was really damp up there. Saw some big elk. It actually looked to us like the elk had just walked 
in front of our cabin right before we got there. Big footprints, little footprints. You guys saw the little bunny. I don't remember if we've ever had a bunny. my husband was working on our water tank while we were up there he bumped into some poison ivy so when I was walking I don't know what poison ivy looks like but there were some beautiful I don't want that side I want this side there were some beautiful plants I almost picked they had berries and stuff and I'm like it looks too colorful uh, well, uh, maybe it's poison ivy, so. So I decided against it. We have tick season here. In the spring, when it's cool and damp and starting to warm up, you have to be very careful when you're out because the ticks are everywhere. And Doug did find a tick crawling up his leg, and they totally freak me out. Even though I've had ticks embedded in my hair, and I've had to go have them taken out, and then Doug took one out one year, but, and you know, you can get um, Lyme's disease. Am I right? Is it Lyme's disease we get from ticks? Well, you can get Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, too, but it's pretty rare around here, even though we live in the Rocky Mountains. Weird, huh? One year I looked it up. We don't have as many of those types of ticks. Last year, when I dried some plants from the cabin. I laminated them. And I thought that was cool. I mean, it's a neat way to preserve them. But the plastic kind of takes away from the nature of it. Kind of. I don't know. have some other stuff I should be doing but it's all banking stuff and the banks are closed today so that's a great excuse to come up in my room Tammy did a really, if you haven't seen her video for Self Care Sunday, go check it out. She did, I'm going to leave some of them backwards, like, like they are, naturally. Um, <clears throat> she did an abstract art, is that mixed media? I guess it would be, right? With some plants from her yard and some bark from her trip to her happy place. I can't remember where it is. Right by the ocean. It 
it really turned out cool. Really neat. So I have some steaks thawing and we are going to have some steaks tonight for supper. This uh, trip to the cabin was really strange because Oh, there's a little bug. Can you see it? Got to be careful of all that stuff. Make sure you don't have ticks or something. Um, and I, God, I don't want my craft room full of little bugs, ants, or something like that. Oh, that would just be terrible to bring home something that infested your whole craft room. Oh my gosh. was I saying oh yeah we got up there and realized that I forgot the butter okay now in my defense I had the butter packed and my husband had come into the kitchen when I was packing things before we left and looked and I had one of those big sticks from Costco that's what I had planned on taking to the cabin. And um, he said, oh, don't take that. It'll get all smashed. Just take one of those. Um, oh, hold on. I'm going to speak. <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. I hate to blow my nose in your ear, but, you know, sometimes that stuff has to happen. Um... Yeah, he's, he said, oh, no, no, take take those little sticks. They're so much easier to pack and and uh, cut and stuff. And so, okay. So I took the big block out and went to get just the one with the four cubes in it. We didn't have one in the fridge, so I needed to go out in the garage to the freezer. And I got sidetracked and didn't do it. So we, So I blamed it on him. It's still a matter of debate. Who forgot the butter? What's your vote? I think I remembered the butter. You screwed up my plan. So I think he should take responsibility for the lack of butter. Well, oh, now I've got a runny nose. Sorry, guys. So vote. What do you think? Who do you think forgot the butter? Oh, this is a cool plant. It looks like parsley. I don't know what it is. That's probably poison or something. Look, it looks just like parsley. So, we had no butter. And it is amazing what you cannot eat when you don't have butter. So you can't have French toast. And you can't have pancakes. And I normally try to cook my fried eggs in butter. That didn't happen. We did it with vegetable oil, which was fine. And healthier, probably. And what else? I don't know. It just seemed like, oh, let's... Oh, we can't. We don't have butter. Oh, let No, can't do that don't have butter <laughs> so it was the joke while we were there well if you hadn't have forgot the butter then we went to have hot dogs and I forgot the mustard and ketchup how do you have a hot dog without mustard and ketchup well yeah I wasn't uh, 
So it was not one of my better food weekends. Cooking at the cabin is always, that's one of my highlights. I love Dutch oven cooking. I love using my cast iron. Mm. Yum, yum. That's going to be really, really pretty. Hmm. It is very therapeutic to be in nature, to play with nature, to watch nature. There's actually a therapy, a grounding therapy, where uh, the therapist prepares like a box, you know, a big pail or a box or something, and the patient takes off their shoes, or if they prefer not to get their feet in the dirt, then they can just use their hands. But your feet, it is, uh, it's better if you can use your feet. And you put your feet in the soil, you know. And of course you get clean soil. It's not like you're, you know, you go outside and get a shovel and, you can do that, but really, as a professional, you shouldn't. <laughs> it needs to be clean soil. And uh, you just kind of dig your feet around in the soil and um, play with your feet or your hands in the dirt. And uh, it's very grounding. Gardening is very therapeutic. There's lots of studies on people who garden and they've measured blood pressures and serotonin levels and dopamine receptors and all of that while you're gardening. It's very therapeutic. So this is a great exercise that Tammy's doing. Oh, I got the sniffles, guys. I'm glad these stayed green. They're sure wilted. I think that'll be okay. We'll see. We'll see. I want to go up in the mountains around where we live. There's a plant that's supposed to be really good for your lungs. Mm, can't remember the name of it right now. And every year when I go to pick it, it's too old. I wait till too late in the year. And I want to go get some. I might just let that go just like that. Just want to spread it out enough that it will um, dry and not clump up and just mold. You know, if it's too wet, it'll just, it'll just mold. Let's put this in here. We're actually thinking of selling our cabin. Never thought I'd say those words out loud, but we are. We're thinking about it. We're thinking about... Um, 
maybe developing some of the land that we have. We have some ground in a town. Oh, that's just asking for trouble. Um, oh, where's my little book holder thing? That's a novel idea. <laughs> We've got some acreage. About Our cabin is about four hours from here. So, it's quite the track. And we have some ground. Ten acres on the way to the cabin, but it's only an hour and a half away. But it's not developed. There's nothing on it. There's no water. There's no power. It's just sagebrush. It has a beautiful view of Mount Bora. Um, it's basically kind of across the street, across the freeway, I guess you'd say, from Mount Bora. Um, and it's in a beautiful area. Um, lots of fishing. It's, uh, is that a bug? We have access to the Snake, Snake River, I think. Or maybe the Big Lost. I can't remember. Doug could tell me, but I, I don't remember. But it would take some effort to be able to go there and have all my creature comforts and things. I don't know if we're going to do that or not, but we're talking about it. That road to get to our cabin, it's freeway until you get about 40 miles away from the cabin, and then it's all dirt road, and it's normally not in great shape, and it's bumpy and it's hard on me. It's it's really a challenge. When I get there, it takes me a few minutes to, I, I call it, get my feet back on the ground. So, and not only that, but um, we're looking maybe at something a little less Rustic. But we love our cabin, so I don't know. I don't know if that's what we're going to do or not. We'll see. What if I... Mm, I don't know. Thinking maybe taking these off. Let's do that. Poor Gus didn't have a very good time at the cabin.
He's normally, you know, when we're outside, we let them loose and they run around, run up and down the mountain chasing chipmunks and he couldn't do that. We have a new neighbor up there who has a two large German Shepherds and last year when he bought his place, they weren't contained in any way. And um, my female standard schnauzer just thinks she's a badass. So we didn't dare let them loose. Now this year he has them contained. He put up a nice fencing area for them and they're able to run and that was nice for them. But they bark and our dog barks. And so we just took him for walks on the leash. And Gus can't be left to his own devices anyway because he'll fall down the mountain. So it was better that they stay on a leash. And that was confusing to him because he couldn't understand why that was. Why he had to be walked like a city dog. Robin, how is your dog? Is his name Boris? Is that right? How is he doing? It's so sad to watch him decline, isn't it? Yep. Breaks my heart. The ride just is really uncomfortable for Gus. We tried to medicate him before we left. I put so, a muscle relaxer he had a hot dog, and we don't normally feed the dogs hot dogs. Um, I don't know. I assume he's probably had one. I'm sure I've given him a hot dog sometime in his life. But he looked at that, and I don't know whether he could tell there was a pill in there or it was just that he didn't know what a hot dog was. I don't know, but he said, Mom, no, that's not, that's a not happener. <laughs> like, dude, <laughs> come on, you're killing me. I didn't, I didn't have butter, which is his usual. <laughs> That's the other thing that was bad is we normally give Gus his medicine in bread with butter on it. And I forgot the butter. Or Doug forgot the butter. Somebody forgot the butter. For you people in the UK, do you celebrate, do you have something like our Memorial Day? What do you call it? Where you remember your military who lost their lives in battle or in service? All of Doug's family, most of the men, I think all the men, I think, served in the military of some branch. And so before we left, he went out to the cemetery and made sure that the graves were decorated. But some of his family, starting with his grandfather, they're all from Italy, so... You know, there's that. This is a little fiddly, but it's still fun. Thank you, Tammy, for this prompt. It's a great one. 
working with nature and being artistic and I don't mind that some of them are backwards with the back showing. I just don't want it in a ball. Okay, that's pretty, and I can always trim this off a little bit after it dries. This almost looks like it's on the wrong side. I think it is. Nope. Nope, it goes like that. Okay. I should have dried them last night when they were fresh, but I didn't. So there you have it. Okay, so I will put something heavy on this. Or not, well, no, I won't use that. And there you go. Great self-care Sunday project. Thank you, Tammy Van Antwerp. Go over and check out her project that she's doing. I'm sure you guys already have. But if you haven't, go over. It's uh, Tammy with a Y. Burton, B-U-R-T-O-N. Van Antwerp. And she's doing self-care Sunday. She's been doing it for quite a while now. It's a great series. And this month is all about nature. So she's doing some cool projects and giving some great prompts. Let's all take care of each other. Bye.